Hey guys, hope you're all having a great week. I'm super excited to be back in the kitchen. It feels like forever since I filmed a recipe video, but Easter is coming up and I have two awesome recipes for you. This week, I'm gonna be showing you how to make an Easter meringue wreath. Even though it takes some time in the oven, it's really quick and easy to whip up. So I've got six egg whites and I'm gonna pour those into a clean bowl. With my beaters, I'm gonna whisk this until it forms soft peaks. So that there is a soft peak. This is what we're looking for at this stage. Now you can use a stand mixer, but I actually prefer to use a handheld whisk because I can make sure I get all of the egg white at the bottom. Now I've got to add lots of caster sugar and I'm gonna do this a spoonful at a time. And you just wanna continue beating as you add the caster sugar. Last thing to add into the meringue is some corn flour and some white wine vinegar. And I'm just gonna mix those together first, create a little paste. This is actually called cornstarch in a lot of other countries, so if you can't find it, that's why. And then that can go into the meringue. This is gonna give it a really lovely chewy texture. Pop that into a piping bag and I fitted that with a star tip. If you don't have one, you could just use a Ziploc bag and cut the corner off. So I'm being fancy and using a sill pad. I finally invested in one, so I'm super excited to use it. If you don't have one, just use some baking paper. It'll stop the meringue from sticking. So I'm going to use a cookie cutter as a guideline of how big I want my nest to be. The wreath is going to be made up of loads of swirls, making little individual nests, because we're gonna hide some mini eggs in there when we decorate it. So I'm just gonna use the cookie cutter to work out how many nests I could get around. You can make this nest as big or as small as you like. If you have extra meringue, you can just make individual nests afterwards. So start at the top and then work your way around. The great thing with meringue is you can pick it up and start back over again if you have any problems, but it doesn't need to look perfect because we're adding cream on top, mini eggs, cream eggs, and drizzling chocolate over as well. Start in the middle, get a nice base for your meringue, and then work it up onto a second layer and then move on to the next one. If any looks small, you can do another layer afterwards, not a problem. Once you're happy with the wreath, it can go straight into the oven. Mine has been preheating at 140 degrees fan. I'm gonna pop it in and then turn it down to 120. So once your pavlova has been in the oven for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, you wanna turn off the heat and just leave it in there for as long as you can. Lots of people actually make their pavlovas the night before ready for the next day. But what I did was let it cool in there for a few hours, which is just enough. It'll stop it from cracking. And now it's time to decorate. So I've got some sweetened double cream, super easy to make. Whip up some double cream with some icing sugar. You might call this powdered sugar. Up to you how sweet you make it. And then to top, I've got some Easter goodies, some mini eggs, some cream eggs, and some milk chocolate to drizzle on the top. If you don't get these in your country, fill it with whatever Easter goodies you'd like to. Some Butterfinger eggs, some Reese's peanut butter eggs. Okay, so I'm gonna add some cream into each of the nests. The cream is in, it's time to start decorating. I'm gonna start with the mini eggs as they're nice and small. I'm gonna dot them around. You can always add more, so don't go too crazy to begin with. It's all starting to look really pretty now. I'm just gonna drizzle some of that melted chocolate on top. You wanna make sure this isn't too hot, otherwise it's just gonna melt that meringue. So leave it to cool and drizzle it over. Mm -hmm. 
And thanks to Jason, I'm gonna add some edible grass into the center. This is actually really delicious. So I've chosen the green one to keep it nice and natural. And then on top of that, I'm gonna add some more cream eggs and mini eggs. Once you're happy with how it looks, that is it done. That is how you make my Easter meringue wreath. Easy.